morning everybody and morning. welcome to the start of the great adventure we're restoring this carriage garden which basically means weeding it it's a fantastic place to start because we can bring it back to look really good yeah. relatively quickly yeah. it is a lovely place that has been brilliantly planted everything we're doing today is so important uh, we're making safe access but more important than that we're rescuing these gardens. They're starting to become derelict. And what we want to do is to stop the advance of the weeds and the brambles and the like, and restore them to their former glory, because it's lovely to sit here in a summer's day, to have a picnic, to enjoy maybe a Shakespeare performance, to look at that wonderful castle and just reflect on the 1100 years of history. So much history and so worthwhile volunteering to put something back into this wonderful place. I've been involved with Hartlebury now for about two or three years. Uh, I'm a trustee and um, at long last we own it and we're able to get to grips with all the problems that there are in this garden but which basically is very beautiful and the planting scheme is lovely. It's just that it's been left to go to rack and ruin for too many years. So we're all working hard today to restore it to something like its former glory. And I've uh, drafted my husband in, as you can see. It's all hands to the pumps. I've been involved with uh, the museum as a volunteer for a number of years, probably five or six. But uh, since the Trust have taken over, I've uh, decided to uh, help out in the gardens. I know a little bit about uh, historic gardens. It has a huge potential and um, I'm sure it's going to be very exciting in the future. This is rather more complicated than the carriage sweep where I'm working with volunteers at the moment. The carriage sweep is relatively easy to bring under control and tidy up. Here we're in the first of the terraces of the Bishop's Garden. Uh, it's historic landscape. The trustees need to plan for its future, uh, including deciding how it is going to be restored. Because if you have a historic garden, the question is what do you restore it to? What part of its history do you want to recapture? And the other question is, having recaptured it, are you going to be able to maintain it? This was probably a moat, uh, and it was filled in to be cultivated. There's an elegant remains of a fountain which could be restored. But as with so much here, the real task is coming to a clear, agreed plan of what you want to do, which is achievable, and getting it right is part of doing a proper job. We're on the terrace uh, of the castle now and, and below are the medieval fish ponds and one of the plans of the trust is, apart from needing to clear this so that you can actually see what's going on down there, is to enable visitors uh, to the castle to uh, walk round the ponds um, because that again was traditionally part of the, the features uh, of this gorgeous place um, and that is a project we're hoping to start come the winter. But as you can see from the scale of some of the incoming stuff, this is not just a job for amateurs. There's a huge project that was going to have to be properly scoped and costed. Uh, but when it's done, it's going to be absolutely wow, uh, with the view across the ponds and out to the country beyond, reminding you of why this was a, such a treasured and beloved house of so many bishops. The gardens are one of the potential glories of Hartlebury Castle, and restoring them is going to be very interesting and will certainly bring lots more people to visit. The and if anybody would like to join us uh, and give us a hand um, in restoring and reshaping what we can touch ahead of the plans, and there's plenty to do, get in touch via the website. Um, there'll be working parties all through the summer. Um, so you can come for an hour or come for a day, um, bring your own tools, don't go climbing on anything, and above all, enjoy yourself. <laughs>